so hello hi you guys happy saturday i hope all of you guys are well i hope this we treated you in a beautiful graceful way from our father um yeah i'm pretty excited i'm here um just having a relaxed saturday um trying to gather myself up this saturday it's a little hot here and i did my hair and it's a little now it's like a little it's a little humid out here um but um and here, i'm here at starbucks i can't wait to get my drink but i get my mango dragon fruit um but yeah just having a relaxed um relax saturday i wanted to take it slow today just take it calmly um with myself this uh, this um this weekend and that's my plans this weekend just to stay cool down low <laughs> but um i'm coming on here because i uh i did a i did like a little q a um box in by his grace and um and also on my personal page a while back and i have a couple questions that people had asked me um in regards of like faith um maintaining purity singleness christianity singing um just a mixture of everything and i'm here to answer these questions so drum roll my people drum roll <laughs> um Oh gosh, but I really, I really love doing these. Okay, so let's talk. I don't even know where to start with these questions because they're all really good questions. And honestly, as Christians, let's be real. Okay, as believers of Jesus Christ, this walk is obviously not easy. We all struggle. Honestly, we all struggle. We all stumble and we have the perfecter the hope our anchor which is jesus christ we cannot do this without god every question that has that everybody has asked me trust me is because the strength of god because i have god in my heart and because i ask god for guidance in all of these things trust me i would not be standing here i would not be sitting here talking about this stuff if god didn't like reveal something to me or has confronted me about something because god just like that god loves us and you know sometimes people think that oh god confronted you what did he say no god confronts you there's some things that we us humanly we have to let go right when we first become christians right we're never going to be perfect people right but god wants to make a better version of ourselves so um you know and then we go through seasons and like levels in this um in this walk of faith where god is showing us his glory god is showing his grace and mercy to us and here we are right so um let's go with this question um i gotta ask what does it mean to be a christian Mm, that's a very very good question i think um what does it mean to be a christian when honestly like i'm, I'm really thinking about it right now because it's just it's a lot it's a lot to unpack with just one question like that but for me being a christian means denying my old self right denying what i base it used to base my life off of and then and, and denying it and letting god do something new with me right so being christian is is saying no to the world and saying yes to god and god is god is the overall answer right god is the savior god is the one who puts life in us he is the meaning of life right he created us he did the trees the flowers us right that's 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 the true creation god created us right people base off life as you know chakras off tarot cards 
off of you know stuff like that and i'm gonna tell you something none of those stuff are real okay you guys can comment all you want or whoever but like i'm just saying like those stuff are not real and people are gonna come and probably say like oh well we can't see jesus trust me and believe that if you want to try jesus you can and he will deliver and he will answer you and he will show you that he is truly god right right being a christian means that you're denying yourself right you're denying you're you're letting go of the old stuff you're letting go of everything right i used to be i used to party i used to drink i used to smoke i used to do all this stuff and i had to let go of that right because i started learning that in god god just shows you a new meaning of life and in a new purposeful meaning of life he shows you that right i thought you know like the like like i was gonna have some lifestyle like um, with my money and all this stuff like I was basing myself off of temporary things and God showed me eternity God showed me um God showed me that you know what there is life after death there is life after death right and and just with my personal encounters and my personal experience with God right I I, I um I stopped going to church when I was 15, you know, I started, you know, I guess rebelling, having my own journey, you know, my own little attitudes at like 15 and stuff. And I stopped going to church, right? I grew up going to the church every Sunday. Yes, I was born into Christianity. I used to go to church, all this stuff, right, when I was younger, but then I stopped. So I had my personal encounter. I had my personal experience, right? And I got a good taste of, of what it's like to you know to be out here to go to the club to do all this stuff you know for temporary things right and um and it showed me that that lifestyle is not what god wanted for me i was living i was living a broken lifestyle i was living a lifestyle that was just not what god wanted for me until i truly took the decision one day when my friend invited me to church and i was like okay let's just go let's just try right and i did that i went to church gave my life to christ right after but i definitely had my doubts i was like god are you real you know like jesus are you real like are you right and god shut my mouth <laughs> just like that god shut my mouth god showed me you know that he is real that I was like, God, you can't, you know, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't heal me, this and this and that. But God did, right? God God personally did that in my life, right? I, I asked God to show me, you know, I asked God to guide me. And that's what God did. And, and that's what Christianity means to me is to deny it's just accepting a new life right accepting a new lifestyle in my life and, and just being a better version of myself i don't know if i'm saying that correctly but that's just my personal my personal answer to that question right is that being a christian it just it means the world right it means and i'm saying that as like a little metaphor or something but it just means so much it carries so much weight right i don't want to say christianity but i want to say believers of jesus christ right what is like to be a believer of jesus christ and i'm gonna tell you i walk in fullness i walk it's crazy to say that right but it's just i walk with joy i walk with god's good with god's um with god's glory you know i i feel i feel like a better person you know i just not feel but that i am a better person right because we're not going to base ourselves off of emotions but truth out here right um so i hope that's a good answer to that question so yeah and there's like a motorcycle behind me <laughs> but um yeah so that's what it means to be a christian to me um and then let's see worship um, someone asked me about worship, about singing, and I am a worship leader at my church for the glory of God. Um, I grew up singing since I was a kid, and 
literally i love doing it i love it's like that's my it's like me showing love to god it's like me saying god hears my song hears who i am and i just want to say thank you like that's just that's just my personal praise with god right that's what worship means to me it's just like a personal thank you to jesus okay and and you have a personal song you have a personal worship with the lord right and whatever that looks like that is so special and so unique in god because that's your personal praise with the lord and honestly like this i think this year almost yeah i've been having like a couple months in in ministry at our at our church right as a worship leader um and it's taught me so much you know that god is just he deserves all glory god puts you in positions god places you places but let me tell you your title does not mean anything okay my title and i say this in myself my title is a daughter of god above everything and everything i could you can have be any type of position in the church or whatever but that title does not mean anything because that could mm -mm, that could be swiped up real quick but you are a son you are a daughter of god that's my title a daughter of god right that's that's who i am in jesus um so yeah that's about worship um it says what am i doing with my singleness um this is this has been a journey honestly i think my singleness has been something that you know it has been it has been um it's been tested i've been refined um i've made a couple mistakes here and there you know what i mean but god has shown me that i have above everything you have to place god you have to place god on the most like number one above everything right and you know what I think in this journey of being single, I've been single for about, I think like five years and God has taught me growth. God has taught me self-worth. God has taught me self-love and confidence in him. Um, of course we struggle, you know what I mean? Um, with the flesh, with temptations and, and all that stuff. But God is your strength. God is your anchor. God is just everything and that's something that we have to do in our singleness is to place god in the middle and the center of it all and that he will provide and that he will do and show show you much more right and as of right now what i'm doing with my singleness is just working for god i'm giving it all to my god giving it all to him and just you know showing showing out for him you know what i mean um i started my youtube i started my gospel page i don't want to cry right now but i started my gospel page because god has done wonderful things in my life and why not show out for that big old god right that has done nothing but wonderful things in my life and you know ministry came out of the random <laughs> but it's just another thing right i'm not trying to show off or anything like that but it's just like god does things right god does everything with a perf purpose and god's timing is perfect and um it's all about surrendering surrendering daily you know surrendering i don't know what person needs to hear this but you are loved you are special you are unique and god is doing something good god is doing something great out of you so you know what like sometimes you're gonna feel uh, like pushed pressed and everything like that but god is creating something new out of you right and i pray that upon your life right now and yeah i'm just here just working um working for god's kingdom and just enjoying my single tool with my friends you know i'm not gonna lie there's some days that are ups and there's days that are downs right i'm being completely transparent with y'all but god gets the glory god gets the glory all the time right and that's what matters the most that he gets the glory that he will glorify himself in your seasons in your single two seasons and 
marriage season, whatever season you're walking in, God will glorify himself always. It does not matter what season you are in. So that's what I'm doing in my singleness right now, just working for God's kingdom, loving him more, growing more in him, um, and letting God teach me. Letting that's I think that's primarily letting God, you know, teach me more about him, letting him teach me throughout um throughout each season, right? What he wants me to learn and God will answer at his beautiful timing. So you know, and, and God just shows us his goodness all the time. So yeah. Um Okay, so now next question. It says, Let's talk about purity. Oh my god, you guys. Mm -mm -mm. I think this is purity boundaries. I think one day I'm gonna make a video out of this um, purity and boundaries and like dating and stuff. Um, God willing, right? <laughs> God willing. But I feel like this is so 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 important because you. It's like you're you like literally like let's be real now okay you when you let's say how can i how can i put this right but okay i'm gonna put it like this right first okay so it says psalms 199 it says how can a young person stay on the path of purity it says by living according to his word i think that is powerful right powerful to walk in purity it's it's like crazy you're gonna face temptations you're gonna face trials you're gonna face troubles you're gonna f anything and everything right but you have to in this walk of faith and in walk of purity you have to base your lifestyle according to god's word right god says not to practice sexual immorality before marriage and god is completely right why because you're gonna be carrying around with soul ties with brokenness with people's your old spouses you know partner spirits like girl or boy you know what I mean? You don't want to walk around like that. Trust me. Save yourself the heartbreak. Save yourself from any trouble. Walk in purity. Trust me. It's the best decision you will ever do. Waiting on God. Waiting on for your hubby. Waiting on for your wife. You know, because it's just walking around with brokenness, you know, from old things. You know, that's just it's just I feel like that just stops you. You know what I mean? And, and that's another thing when you're in. And, and that's another thing that God teaches you, right? I'm going to put it like that. That's another thing that God teaches you. It's just like we, I feel like nowadays, everybody just idolizes like relationships full of money, full of lust, full of let's vacation and all that stuff. But guess what? No, honey, it's not all about sex. Let's be real. It's not all about all that stuff, right? That's a part of intimacy. But God doesn't want you to be going on around and doing all that stuff. And I'm not judging anybody. It's just that that's what the word says. And again, it's just, we're not going to be talking about stuff, you know, just because, right? So, and you know what I mean? And it's just like, God doesn't want us to have sex before marriage because y you don't even know. Like, what if you and that person break up? You're stuck with a void. Uh, you're stuck with a soul tie. You're stuck with something that God has to break off, right? So save yourself, you know what I mean? Save yourself from trouble. Wait on God. Put God in the center of your relationship, you know, and, and just listen, you know? and avoid that right so it's just walking in purity is gonna how do you say you have to make boundaries you know what i mean you have to let go of certain habits that are just not healthy for you nowadays we like social media praises like toxic relationships like yeah you know we've been together for three years you know on and off and off so that's not healthy honey that's really not healthy at all right for your mental health for your physical health but he loves me god loves you let me tell you that god loves you right so um but you know what dating and all that so that's that's just another you know another thing but walking in purity is gonna require a lot of discipline a lot of i want to i don't want to say sacrifice but it's just a lot of discipline because it's like 
God wants to save you from the heartbreak. God wants to save you from any, you know, trouble. You know, he doesn't want you to lose yourself. Whatever it is, right? God doesn't want that for, for you, right? God wants, God created marriage. God created a, a covenant and all that stuff for a lot of reasons, right? For one, for two people, right? to be created in one so when you lay yourself with somebody else you're laying your whole spirit with that person and the thing is that you know people nowadays don't even believe in marriage because of the things that they see they see these social um they see uh, social media they see all these celebrities cheating on each other and they're like marriage ain't real or even at home you know parents and all that stuff went through a divorce they don't believe in marriage but guess what you can break that you can break that you can pray over your marriage you can pray over your relationship and as long as you have god's guidance and just being honest with god and being transparent with and that's another thing with your single too you have to be transparent with god you have to let god do what he needs to do in your life you have to let god heal what he needs he, he that what he needs to heal in your life and, and do all that right it's a lot that i'm unpacking right now so i'm sorry y'all but um it's like that's what it is you know what i mean like god doesn't want like destruction and relationships he doesn't want unhealthy in relationships and and it's just like primarily walking in purity is also asking god for guidance asking god to help you asking god to strengthen you ask god to give you hope lord knows like <laughs> he's a man god is just good god is everything but he can do all things are possible in God. So it's just walking in purity. Again, requires discipline, requires boundaries, requires you to be honest. You know what I mean? You can't, trust me, you cannot do this on your own. You have to ask God for guidance about that, right? I can keep on going talking about purity, but it's just so true. Like even like certain music, right? Certain music, certain movies certain lifestyles you're gonna have to let it go because it's just it's gonna hinder your relationship with god it's gonna hinder your 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 destiny with god your purpose with god it's just gonna hinder you so sometimes you gotta let go and peace out with it right peace out with that so it's just living your life according to his word so that's psalms 119 9 right and Someone had asked me what my favorite Bible verse is. And I honestly, I have so many. Oh my God. I have so many, right? But there was this, it was a Philippians one. It was just like, it was, oh my God. I don't know. If, I forgot what it was. It was it, was it Philippians? I think it was Philippians um, where it talks about, um, it's just, what god, who god is and i'm just gonna have to make another video about this because i completely forgot but it just talks about god's power god's authority god's kingdom who god is like god is just sovereign he has authority over anything his power is immense like we can't i can't even describe his authority but like bro like god is just so big and so good um but that's my favorite verse. I don't know where that is. I think it's Philippians or or First John. Oh my God, I forgot. But what, I'm going to have to make a whole other video about this. But yeah, that's one of my favorite verses. And then my favorite worship song. Oh my God, right now, I think think this week, right? I don't have a favorite worship song. Actually, that's a lie. You know which one it is? Do It Again by Elevation worship but because it's like god's gonna do it again and again and again and again and every season that you walking in the lord is gonna do it again he's gonna show out he's gonna show off because that's how good god is right he's not gonna leave you he's not gonna forsake you he's always gonna be with you right and done i mean <laughs> son daughter of god right i don't know i think i was thinking both words at the same time but god is just good period right but um he's amazing 
um, but that is my favorite song um, do y'all want to see a current playlist like let me know in the comment section I'm gonna have to do a little playlist for y'all because it's just that is good right but um that's the end of the q a my beautiful people um if you do not follow me on my personal pages on instagram well my personal and my gospel go ahead follow um my gospel page on instagram is at underscore underscore by his grace co and then my personal is at ingrid.clarios um, on instagram so and another thing if you need any prayer if you have any questions about anything go ahead dm me um send me a message i'm here to serve you so my beautiful people i hope all of you guys have a wonderful saturday may god bless you wherever you are don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share with somebody let somebody know about this conversation because say like nowadays we have to be real about ourselves we have to be really transparent about ourselves because you know what this lifestyle is not easy but with god everything is possible okay like god says the burden is light his no his yoke is light right <laughs> his yoke is light so let's go my people so i hope all of you guys have a wonderful saturday much love and take care